and we're going to simulate the blur filter with computer graphics. So what you're looking at here is just a plain old spreadsheet. I have shrunk the cell sizes down so that they look roughly like squares. Now in the next sheet you'll see a smiley face and if you look closely you can tell that I have numbers in the cells zeros and nines. Nine has a white background, zero has a very dark gray background. This is done with a, con a system called conditional formatting. You'll see that uh, you'll see that there's a color scale applied to each cell and it's based on this color gradient of, uh, of gray scales. The reason I did it this way is so you can see what the numbers are. However in this slide you can see it, you cannot see the numbers and this is using a different set of conditional formatting specifically based on individual numbers so when it's a three it's going to have both a foreground and a background of this color scheme now what we're going to do is uh, in order to first understand graphics in order to understand the filters you got to first understand a little bit about graphics so when you're looking at a computer screen and you see a picture it's not a picture it's a bunch of dots and really it's not a bunch of dots it's a bunch of lights and it's not really a bunch of lights it's a bunch of colors and in the mind of the computer it's not a bunch of colors it's a bunch of numbers so that's what we're simu uh, simulating here each of these numbers gets displayed as a color now in a filter such as you would have on any of a number of social sharing uh, image sharing networks and so forth what it really is doing in it's not actually for instance the blur filter you're not actually blurring an image what you're doing is you're looking at each individual pixel looking at the number of each individual pixel and applying some kind of a mathematical function to that number to come up with a new number the blur algorithm that I'm going to use is going to take each cell it's going to look at the surrounding cells in the original so in this case it's going to look at this zero it's also going to look at the fact that this one's a zero this is a nine that's a nine that's a nine nine zero nine and nine and it's going to apply a formula that gives different amounts of weight to the different cells so the actual one in the center will have the greatest weight the top bottom left and right will have um, about half that weight and then the four corners are going to have about half that weight so you can see up in the formula box the actual uh, numbers involved so this first number represents the sheet and then K13 is the cell and then we have uh, a greater weight two times the one at L13 and then over here you can see four times the one at L14 and so forth and that's how we get to that individual cells um, new value and then when I take these new numbers and I apply the very same conditional formatting rules we get an image that looks similar but different obviously blurred of course if you squint your eyes you can you can really simulate that blur effect we can click back and forth and you'll see even better the clear version the blurry version and it's really no different when we have a higher resolution resolution in this context means the number of pixels so when we have more pixels or smaller pixels then it's going to look less blocky or pixelated and we can apply um, in this case we've applied that conditional set of rules we can also apply a gradient condition uh, as you see here I don't know why it's duplicated as you see here and you can apply different colors if you want as well but it has the same exact blur effect so there you have it so we started with a set of numbers we converted those numbers into colors we applied a formula to those original numbers and convert those new numbers into colors and we've simulated the blur effect thank you very much if you like this video do me a favor share it share it with all your friends because everyone wants to know how a blur filter works uh, go on over to brainstemschool.com and check out the free ebook if you have not already learned of code and if you are a teacher, I've got plenty of resources over at TeachersPayTeachers.com. You can find a link to that at BrainStemSchool.com. Uh, feel free to hit me up in the comments or uh, make sure and subscribe. And again, share and give me the thumbs up. Thanks a lot. Have a great rest of the day.